welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. Yep, I'm using a different filter. Why? Because I choose to. Because it's different. And I like to be different, original, unique, me. And welcome to today's video, Road to Recovery, Episode 2. Just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on the week, what's been going on. A little, uh, little bit of vlogging from our Edmonton trip show you a couple items that I picked up as birthday gifts from you guys. You know who you are. Thank you. So let's just get into today's video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join the Vibe Tribe family by hitting that little red subscribe button. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it lets me know I'm on the right track for creating content. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give me a big old thumbs down. Thanks for the watch time. Thanks for helping me too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as it will let you know when my videos upload. And right now, we all know it. It's squirrely. Hey everyone, how's it going? How's your day so far? Hope it's a fantabulous one. Sherry here, aka Diamond Art Addiction. Welcome to episode two of my road to recovery, a journey I'm taking for mind, body, and soul. And this is basically just where I'm going to sit down in front of the camera and chat with you all just kind of on how my week was from the previous, the introduction to this new journey that I'm taking, you know, the week, I'm going to show you just kind of like a little bit of footage from when we went to the city. Unfortunately, I really slucked, slucked, slucked. Yeah, I slucked. <laughs> I really sucked at vlogging that day. First, I need a sippy sippy. So I am filming this Saturday, March 7th, 2020. Tomorrow is my 41st birthday. You're actually watching this on my birthday. And like I said, I'm going to share a little bit of how my week was. I'm going to talk a little bit about turning 41, what's to come, what's happening, what's going to be happening, etc., etc. I'm going to talk a little bit about being on Crafting Journey with Rebecca's live tonight my first time doing that actually I enjoyed it so we'll talk a little bit about that but first I'm gonna show you guys the seven and a half minutes of our trip to the city we had to take my son in for him to go get a special test done on his brain ever since he got the concussion in football you know it's been a little bit scary but I think he's gonna be okay you know just when your child's going through something anywho squirrel <laughs> So I'm going to slip that footage in and then we will continue from there. See you when it's over. Good morning, everybody. How is it going? I decided I'm going to do a vlog video today of us going to the city. Right now it's like 10 after, but ever in the morning. As you can tell, I have bloodshot eyes. I have wrinkles and circles. I didn't get much sleep last night. I do put this away. So I'm just going to chat with you guys for a few minutes. You know, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a get ready with me thing, but some of it I think is going to end up going in time lapse. So I already put toner on right now. I gotta put my moisturizer cream on. I do this every morning religiously. So I guess you're going to kind of get to see when you when you start to get a little bit older, you, you start taking care of your skin. So anybody who's like in their 20s, take care of your skin because that's something I wish I would have done more of. So I'm using a collagen cream right now. I'm testing it out because I want to do a little bit of a review. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Cream. I got this in my BoxyCharm. And then I use my Regain Eye Cream from Secret. If you're interested in doing this with me or want to know how to earn free products, just 
send me an email. I commented back to anybody who commented on my I've got a secret video. But this morning I'm doubling up on eye stuff. Because I'm trying to get rid of the puffiness. How else am I going to do my makeup? So this morning I'm going to be using the Pillow Talk. This I got from a birthday gift from Connie. That's the one I'm going to end up using. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to just do it like, you know, because this is more of a vlogging video. So what I think I might do is because, yeah, I don't know. You know what, guys? I haven't even had a cup, full cup of coffee yet. So I'm going to stop this right now. And I guess we'll figure out from where I'll, I'll show you guys what I've got done once I figure out how I'm going to do it. <laughs> Squirrel, it's, it's too early. See you in a minute. So we're in the car. We're on our way to the city. No makeup. My eyes were just watering. There's the sun. It's a big ball in the sky. <laughs> we haven't seen much but my, my eyes are like on fire and they're watering. So sorry, I will try to film using makeup soon. I'll film on and off throughout the day. We'll show you guys a little bit of West Edmonton Mall. I know some of you would like to see our countryside. Snow went all. It snowed last night. So, bye. Right. On the road again. Chat with you soon. So that building right there with the black windows. That is Fantasyland Hotel. We are turning into the mall. You can see the Scotia Theater right there. So this is, there's the IMAX Theater. There's Fantasyland Hotel. We are turning in. I know a lot of you have heard of West Edmonton Mall. It is. It's a huge mall, huge mall. And I will take some clips and film from inside the mall. Yeah. Eight blocks long. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely huge. I think the son's looking forward to shopping, aren't you son? <laughs> All right, see you guys inside the mall. So we're here, we're at West Edmonton Mall. There's the sun. And we're going to go do some shopping. I'll take, try and take a few shots. I'll try and take a few shots of being in the mall. But I kind of have to respect people's privacy as well. So this is going to be fun. I haven't gone shopping. You guys, my anxiety is like through the roof right now because I don't like to be around a lot of people. I don't like crowds. So, I can do this right now. Yeah, I think so. All right. See you in the next clip. So here we are in West Edmonton Mall. That we came in the door there. So, this here is the mini golf. I'm sorry, the, you know, the sound's not going to be the greatest, but this is the mini golf in the mall. Let's see. Yeah, London Drugs. My family's up there. I'm a little slow with the back. Yeah, we've got Putt Putt. And I think we're going to head to the food court. My son wants to go shopping. I kind of want to go shopping. I'm buying a new purse. Yay, me. Gonna, gotta find the guest store and treatments. I had a viewer put some money on my PayPal and I'm buying myself a guest purse with it. So thank you very much. You know who you are. I will message you with a photo. So yeah. for the kids, um, right up ahead there, Donovan. What? So you can see right there, 
There's a big pirate ship. I'll take you guys over there in a little bit. Okay. See you next time. Hey, guys. I am so sorry. We uh, didn't get a chance to film. We did not have much time. We were more here for the appointment. And West Edmonton Mall is so big. My back is killing me. But you got to see a little bit. Sneak peek. We'll, 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 we'll go there again. We have more time that we can get more footage. Right now we are in noon hour traffic trying to get my son. Say hello, Donovan. Trying to get him to his appointment. So do apologize, peeps. That was just a little sneak peek. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> so as you can see, there was a little bit of footage. Got to see a little itty bitty bitty chunk of West Edmonton Mall. A little bit of the trip. But we had like not even two hours. And with my back and my son had me going here, going there. I wanted to go here, look for this champion's hoodie. Uh, anyway, we didn't get him a champion's hoodie, but he did get a Vans hoodie. Well, he a name brand. Like my, my son is a name brand. But so... I had a goal of going to the city. Some of you had put some money on my PayPal for my birthday. Uh, thank you very much, Sister Cassie. I just seen after I was done the live. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. You guys, this is not mandatory. It really, really isn't. This is not something that has to be, you know, I appreciate it. But I did pick up um, from one subscriber. I was able to get my nails done. That was a birthday present. You know who you are. Thank you. And then to Patsy in Scotland. Out of your gift to me, I decided to get myself something that I've never had before in my life. So you gifted me my very first at the age of 41 designer purse no it's not like louis vuitton or something outrage it's just guess but it is my very first i i don't normally spend you know like it's from the new season you know just came out they tried to upsell me the wallet but no i just wanted to get a purse because i do have some new cases coming from treasure studios art we'll talk about that in a second but I thought I would, I mentioned this in Rebecca's live last night that I had gotten this purse and they're like, well, what, let's see it. And I'm like, no, you're going to have to watch the video tomorrow to do that. It's kind of just what I do. You guys, I like to like leave a little suspense in things. So this is it. It's just a cute little, just a cute little bag. It's got your little duot hickeys. It does come with a shoulder strap if you want to use a shoulder strap. Yeah, it had lots of pockets. So Patsy, thank you very much. It's got a pocket there. I am not going to open up the purse. It's got a lot of crap in it, but you know, that's kind of a private thing. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. So thank you very much. And then the other item that I got, which you'll see a little bit more of in tomorrow's Makeup Monday, it's going to be a little bit of a longer makeup Monday because, yeah, anyhow, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But I did get volume two of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette. I have volume one, loved it. So I went to the Morphe store and got volume two. So those were the two things. Yeah, she is absolutely, is she not gorgeous? Squirrel! She is absolutely gorgeous. She used the shades from this palette. You'll see a little bit of more of that if you're kind of into the whole makeup thing. You'll see more of that on in tomorrow's Makeup Monday. You're going to see the colors that come in that palette. You're also going, Connie, I'm going to open up part three of your birthday gift to me, which came from Jeffree Star. I thought it was the one palette because you asked me not to purchase it. And it came, there's a bigger box than just the one palette. So I will be filming the unboxing of that when I'm done filming this. And then tomorrow I am going to do a kind of try, I'm going to try and film a get ready with me for my birthday kind of makeup look. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the makeup videos yet, you guys. Like I still need to organize my makeup. Oh. I tell you guys. So how's my week been? Well, we, we did the trip to Edmonton. Um, I've had good, really good days. Um, I'm really trying, I think the worst of what I'm dealing with right now is B12. 
being in between places, like being in between home, which is with Mr. Addiction, between being at my parents, so I'm close to my kids. You know, there's very, very little space at my mom and dad's and it's really, really hard to film. As you can see, I'm sitting on my bed right now. And when, oh, pardon me, when I went into Rebecca's live tonight, she does this every Saturday where she'll have people come in and she'll interview them. Really nice. So thank you very much, Rebecca, for having me on your live. If you guys wanted to check out the replay on that, I will have uh, Rebecca's YouTube channel linked down below in the description box. You know, it was kind of cool to be interviewed. I enjoyed it. It was fun. So definitely go and check that out. And if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. You know, as I've mentioned in Rebecca's live, you know, so, you know, people have noticed my absence from the community, from being in people's lives, um, you know, not seeing me in the comment section of some creators, you know, like I said, I've said, I think I said this in last week's video and I said this in Rebecca's live. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm kind of not starting over, but needless to say, starting over in some aspects. I really want to bring my channel back to what it was. And when I began uh, at the end of April last year, um, you know, I've talked about things I've been through, domestic violence, mental illness, child loss, you know, I've talked about my story, which a lot of you have related to. And then I started allowing people to get into my head, you know, so on and so forth. I never should have, you know, that's just something that I've done. It comes from, you know, stuff of the bullshit. Like, you know, we all go through bullshit. I don't try to think myself any worse off than anyone else. But I allowed some people to get into my head, which kind of steered me off of the journey that I started on and that's where I'm kind of going on to this my road to recovery where every Sunday you guys are going to kind of get an update video if I do vlog throughout the week it'll be in you know on road to recovery Sunday um, some of you are asking about spiritual Sunday and I'm not sure if I'm going to bring that back or not I've talked about it before I don't really want to get into it right now you know I may bring it back down the road right now. I just, I kind of just need to work on me. And I'm taking you guys along for the ride. I've been on, I was on pain medication for 15 months for my back. And I'm now two weeks no longer on the pain medication. Instead, I'm on a medication to help so I don't go into withdrawal. It's called Suboxone. And what it is, is it's basically a medication that you can take. It does help with pain. You don't get that euphoric feeling. And it makes it so that you don't go into withdrawal symptoms. So you can actually lead your life daily without, yeah. If you've come off pain medication or any kind of withdrawal is not fun. It really isn't. You need to be able to live your life. So, you know, I'm a huge advocate for it. It really does help. And then I use cannabis. I use edibles to help. And it's been actually helping with the pain management so much. You know, I didn't realize like when you're taking pain medication, eventually, you know, as you, time goes on, you need to start kind of increasing, increasing you know, because you become tolerant and you start thinking that you're in all this pain. And then I realized like, I'm not saying I wasn't in pain. I mean, I've got bone on bone. Yeah, I've got pain. You know, I've got, I've got disc bulges and it stems from a car accident in 1999. You know, I got hit by a car crossing the street. So 21 years I've been dealing with this back issue, you know, on and off pit, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes I think pain medication kind of plays with your brain a little bit and you think you're in more pain than you really are, you know, and then due to the chaos and bullshit going on in my world, I, you know, I, I'm an addict, you know, and 
I have addictive tendencies and I've learned to watch for those. And I noticed that I was overtaking the pain medication. That's when I knew it's time, right? My, my head is coming out of the cloud. I still deal with other health issues. So I still struggle with brain fog, <clears throat> you know, and I don't talk a lot about my health issues on my channel. And that's because I'm not looking for pity. I'm not looking for people to feel sorry for me. I don't want people to think, oh, well, she only has subscribers because they feel sorry for her. You know, that's why I don't talk a lot about that stuff. Don't need to talk about that. I started this journey as a bit of a healing for myself. I find it very therapeutic to talk about what I do. It's nice to be able to find people that can relate to you that, you know, I do talk about taboo topics. And I am going to kind of update so people maybe don't want to have to go back. I'm going to talk about things that I've talked about before on my channel, but maybe in a different perspective, you know, as we age, you know, like I'm, I said, I'm 41 years old today. Well, tomorrow, but you're watching this today. You know, squirrel. <laughs> Turning 41. <clears throat> I totally lost my, my, my train of thought, but yeah, I'm turning 41 years old and I finally feel like I actually felt this last year when I turned 40. Um, I like I discovered diamond painting February of 2019. So I've been diamond painting for just over a year. Diamond painting for just over a year now. I've been on YouTube for almost a year. <clears throat> well, I've been on YouTube for a long time, but as a creator, you know, and my perspective from when I started to now has changed. And I believe as we get older, we view things from our past differently like the loss of my son 10 years ago I wasn't I hadn't even coped with it yet and I still struggle to talk about it I still struggle to talk about a lot of things and that's where I'm learning right to open up and to let people in and so many of you have really touched a place in my heart and I know I'm awful at answering messages back. You guys, I'm not on my phone that much. I have notifications turned off. So I can't tell if you've messaged me. If you text message me, I can't text message the states back, right? Like my disability, anyway, it hasn't been, it's been, it's a nightmare, right? So there's a part of me that regrets getting the stuff that I did in the city but I didn't know what was going to happen. And we'll talk about that maybe at another future date. So anywho, moving on. I feel like since I've been hit my 40s that I'm just starting to live. You know, my 20s are a blur. My 30s was the beginning of my healing. And now my 40s, I feel like I'm in a new journey. I feel that I'm learning to live for myself. And it's okay. I don't need to feel guilty. It's okay if I'm not a mom. Like, I'm a mom. But it's okay to live for myself too. Right? My kids aren't little. They're going to be 14, 16, and 23. Sorry, I had to think about that for a minute. 24. Damn. My daughter's not almost halfway through her 20s yet. Almost close to. Holy sheep shit, you guys. I tell you. Damn. Anywho. Yeah, because my daughter was born in 97. It's 23, not 24. It's 2020, not 2021. I'm, I'm skipping a year here, you guys. <laughs> so you're slowly going to see me going back to what I was in the beginning, which is sharing my passion for diamond painting, talking about taboo topics, my perspective on things now, like, you know, some of the questions that I got asked tonight really kind of made me think, you know, and I really held back some of my thoughts and opinions, you know, and I that's something I need to stop doing is holding back. And I just don't want to cause problems, you know, like, you guys, I think, you know, 
I mean, if you've been in this community long enough, if you've been following me, you know, like, it, you know, there's been some ups, there's been some downs. I've learned a lot. I love this journey. And it's been a good week. I'm excited because I'm going home for a couple weeks. Uh, me and Mr. Addiction kind of got to start going through things, figuring out what we're keeping, what we're not keeping, kind of start getting things packed. Like we, there's an open house tomorrow, well, today, when you guys are seeing this, you know, we've lowered the price. Like we're really hoping that the condo is going to sell soon. So we kind of really do need to get the ball rolling on things, which means I'm going to be able to film a little bit more because I'll have more space. I'll have my usual filming setup that I'm used to. I'll have the space like, and that's where things have just been so like this for me because I feel unsettled, you know, I think once the move, we get through the move and we get settled in our forever home and I get into a commuting schedule where I come back to visit, things will feel a lot more settled, right? Like there's Purple Door Crafts coming. I've got Patreon. Finally, I've got like everything set up for it. It will be ready for first mail outs will be for May. I'm excited to get the ball rolling. You guys know all about that. Um, I'm not linking my Patreon in anything yet because everything's going to kind of kick off in April, you know, where you guys will get the extra videos, the extra lives. Um, there will be, yeah, like, you know, and then I just don't want, I just want, I want to kick things off for April and then the mail outs will be for May will be the first and then May, June, July, I've pretty much got things figured out. I think I'm organized. We'll see with my squirrely, squirrely brain that I have. So lots of exciting things to come. There's some collabs that are coming up. Like I said, I just need to get myself settled. You know, I don't want to commit myself to things and then shit happens so I'm trying really hard you know I have a list in my phone of things I need to mail out to people I haven't forgotten you guys just be patient you know the giveaway is coming I'm really excited I've got one more item that I'm waiting for and then um uh, one more order like order and then I think I'll have everything ready to go and then we will get those done. I'm excited for that. Lots of goodies. Lots of goodies in there. So I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, you know, I can sit here and ramble on and on. Tomorrow, you guys are going to get to see me unbox some makeup. You're going to, for Makeup Monday. Hopefully, I will get a makeup look film tomorrow. And so on and so forth. It's like, you know, just have patience with me. I know I'm squirrely and I know my schedule is just kind of all over, but... I will be going live next Wednesday. Like I said, I will be at home. And I'm sure I'll have, I will have lots to talk about. I will. But I think that's it for today's video. So on that note, I am going to bid the all farewell. I do need to get to bed. And, you know, I've got family coming tomorrow. Well, today... I am going to vlog that. You'll get to see that in next week's Road to Recovery. You'll get to see the birthday celebrations. So now I am going to bid thee all farewell. Stay positive, live blessed, and until the next time, many, many blessings. Hashtag Vibe Tribe. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.